Well, it's been a while since a big hurricane hit the Grand Strand, but a new housing trend could keep you and your family safe during a hurricane. We're talking about insured fortified homes. They're now popping up in developments across the Grand Strand. WMBF News reporter A.J. Ross has more on what makes these homes so special. From the outside looking in, this home seems like any other on the street. But local builders like Bruce Carroll say fortified homes like this one are now raising the bar. It's, it's basically uh, the safest and most sound home that we can build with today's technology. Technology like concrete reinforced walls, which are close to a foot thick, which provide a stronger foundation. From top to bottom, these fortified homes also have extra nails, reinforced steel, and other additions, making them strong enough to withstand up to a Category 4 storm. Their insurance costs will likely be lower because when a home is built to the standard, the insurance company sees it as safer and less likely to be damaged. Carroll says fortified homes generally cost more up front, but these costs are offset by insurance savings. And some fortified homeowners like Maureen and Don Hopkins believe it's well worth the investment. On the beach in South Carolina, with a record of storms here, this is a safe house to live in. We wouldn't have it any other way. We, we definitely believe it's worth the outlay. Maureen Hopkins says in addition to saving on her insurance, she has also seen a decrease in her energy bills. Over the long haul, you do save in your energy bills uh, by being cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. Yeah. Carol says his company has built 25 new fortified homes in the Grand Dunes community of Myrtle Beach, and he plans to build several more to keep up with the growing demand. Most of the homes that we're building now if they're not fortified, our clients are taking a very serious look at whether or not to make the investment in fortified homes. That was A.J. Ross reporting. On an average home of 2,500 square feet, builders estimate that you would spend between twenty-five dollars and $50,000 more to create the fortified certification. They say these costs would then be offset by lowered insurance costs.